Data integration, simply put, combines data types and formats into a single location, often known as a data warehouse. The ultimate goal of data integration is to gain useful and valuable information to help solve problems and gain new insights. While organizations spend a lot of time and money collecting data, data is only as valuable as it is used. The challenge is data silos. Data is often stored across departments in formats that need to be transformed, and this data is often siloed. This impacts business decision makers as they don't have access to the full picture. Now that you know what data integration is, let's take a look at some ways on how it can address these challenges. Data integration tools such as FME allow decision makers to access all of the data they need. It also eliminates the manual effort of performing complex, repetitive tasks. And lastly, it eliminates the need for writing and maintaining point-to-point -point scripts. Now let's learn a little bit more about data integration through the use of fruit. Thanks, Sim. Now I'm going to show you what you can do with data integration using these fruits. We're going to be using FME, which is the software produced at SAFE, to connect and transform data, as well as automate the workflows. People who need the data can then access it while using the best fit-for-purpose applications, where, when, and how it's needed. So in FME, we have things called transformers, which manipulate our data and transform it. We're going to take this apple, and we're going to peel off unwanted things. So this would be our transformer. Now that we've removed all the peels, we are left with just the data that we want. So we can take the data we filtered out and remove that. Now I noticed that there's some bruises on the other side, and we don't really want that. So we can use another transformer to handle that. And I'll use this. Now that our data has been tiled down, we can remove pieces that we don't want, such as this bruise, and it's gone. Now we're gonna do the same with the rest of the fruits. So our end goal is to create a smoothie. So we're gonna put these all into a blender. So we're gonna be running our transformation with feature caching on. So you're gonna see everything happening as it runs. Now that your data has been transformed and in our form is a smoothie, you can share it with the people you need to get it to or into the databases you need to get it into. In this translation, we've created the same smoothie for everybody, but taking our source data in the same translation, FME can create different smoothies for each person. And this is our example of data integration using fruits to create a smoothie. Back to you, Sim. I hope that was helpful for understanding what data integration is. Be sure to reach out for a live custom demo. See you later. Be sure to reach out for a live custom demo. We'll see you very soon. There's actually no berries in the video. Oh wait, really?